So hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick video uh, to go over the uh, PowerPoint presentation assignment. And and really this is uh, supposed to be an easy assignment. I, I want you to get creative and have some fun with this. Uh, but there's definitely some stuff you need to know uh, in order to make the best grade possible. Uh, specifically, I have to sort of set this up strangely <laughs> to accommodate the Cengage uh, software that we're using. So uh, I'll try to make that very clear what you need to do uh, in this PowerPoint. But basically, for the content, we're just taking that uh, book proposal that you did and converting it into a uh, really a five to seven minute presentation uh, or about what that would be. And uh, I'll, you're just going to have to estimate, you know, how long it would take you to read your slides. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be exact, but. Um, I'm thinking about five slides. If you spent, say, uh, one minute per slide, there you go. That's already uh, five minutes. Uh, but if you want to play around a little bit, that, that's fine as well. But you have to have a minimum of uh, five uh, slides. And uh, we need to have five regular slides or picture slides. And then every other slide needs to be a text slide. And uh, what I mean is that you'll, uh, on your odd numbered slides you'll put your pictures uh, whatever it is you'd be showing during your presentation and then on your even numbered slides uh, here's where I want you to put in what you'd actually be reading so this would be this is the second slide we'll make that the text slide blah 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 you know two or three sentences uh, whatever it is you would say while the first slide was being shown if that makes sense so this whatever let's go ahead and fix uh, fix up slide number one so I'm going to put in a picture here of some ducks, <laughs> little rubber ducks in a row. And I'm just going to make my first slide nothing but this picture of the ducks. So I'm going to position it there. And I'm going to clean up that. It's got a little bit of overhang there, so I'm going to crop that bit out. Boom, crop. And that might be uh, all I want to put on that slide. So I could leave this up for a minute and talk about, you know, getting your ducks in a row and <laughs> whatever it is I wanted to say along those lines. And then uh, you know, maybe we have another slide here. Let's say my book proposal was about uh, student success. So maybe I want this, this next uh, or this third slide to have some students in a classroom. So again, just grabbing some stuff from Google and uh, just for our purposes, I don't care if it's, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about copyrights and whether you have permission to use images. Uh, we're not going to put these up on the open web. <laughs> uh, just keep in mind, if you were, uh, you'd probably be fine as long as you're just presenting this inside your company. But if this was something that was going to go outside the company uh, and be published in some way, then you would need to get copyright clearances or stick to public domain images. But uh, again, uh, we're not really concerning. We're just practicing here. It's just a class exercise. So <laughs> don't, get, don't get stressed out about the uh, legal side. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing again. Try to make this fit the whole slide. Maybe, uh, you know, move it around a little bit. Let's go ahead and crop some of this. Uh, now for this one, I'll go ahead and uh, put some text on this one. So I'm going to right click on it and send it to the back and you notice it brought my text slide back so maybe we can call this one student engagement right <laughs> uh, and you could you know position it how you want now that not, i don't know what version of powerpoint you're using or you could even use google uh, slides for this or keynote yeah as long as you can save it as a PowerPoint or a PDF, you should be fine. Uh, but with PowerPoint, I can come in and click on this Quick Styles button, change uh, the look of that. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard to see. You can put a backdrop on it. Some of these are should be transparent. Yeah, you know, like this one, you can see how you can sort of see your hand through that that box. Uh, sometimes that looks better. Sometimes it just makes it harder to see. I don't really like that white text against the gray backdrop. It's a little hard to see for me, so I would probably want to go with a different color text or 
I just keep fooling around here till I yeah, that one. I don't like her uh, teacher's nurse's face getting cut off there, so maybe I'll you know, just move it around a little bit. And again, you can get a little too finicky with this. I got my grid turned on to kind of help me position it where I want it, but why don't we just stick it there? <laughs> you know, again, don't want to go crazy with this. Actually, you know, it might look better on the along the bottom there. Yeah, there we go. So I kind of like that, uh, of course. So you could, you might not like the look of that. That's fine. Uh, just do whatever you, uh, whatever looks good to you. I mean, if it's ultimately, if you're the one giving the presentation, uh, you want to make a a presentation that you feel comfortable with and confident about, because that will actually boost your confidence when you're up giving the speech. If you know you have a nice looking uh, presentation, doesn't look sloppy, uh, disorganized. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So that's really about all um, I would mess with. Uh, obviously, uh, PowerPoint's a very powerful tool. You have transitions you could put in between slides, <laughs> sound effects, video clips, and all of this stuff, which is great. But unfortunately, that's not going to upload into a Cengage. Uh, so you should really keep these, uh, keep them really simple. Again, just a slide, and then on the even numbered slides, put your you know, the text that you would be saying, yada yada. Hopefully you're getting the idea here. And I was looking into, you know, about five minute presentation, how many words is that? And it comes out to about somewhere around a thousand words total in all your text slides. So that might be something to shoot for. You're, you don't want to, I wouldn't just copy your uh, proposal word for word. Uh, remember, this would be a lot less formal than that. Uh, you don't want to re sit up there uh, reading like some kind of a, a robot in real life. So, uh, for these slides, uh, you know, if you want to put a little joke in there, that would be fine. Or uh, you, you could write really informally, just however you would speak. Obviously, you don't want to get too uh, informal, but um, on the other hand, it doesn't need to be super formal either. A little bit more of, I guess, what I'm looking for here is more of a conversational style. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just get on YouTube and, and do a search for business presentations. Uh, maybe like a TED Talk presentation be a really good model for you. And you notice those aren't super formal. Uh, on the other hand, they're very informative and uh, persuasive and really kind of entertaining. So <laughs> uh, you could shoot for that. Okay, so I think that's about all um, I need to tell you here. Um, if you do have questions about PowerPoint, you can certainly ask those. Uh, there's all kinds of advanced tools you can get into. There's, there's pretty good help options available within PowerPoint as well. Um, and really, again, you don't want to get too fancy with this anyway, because it probably won't work when you go to upload it. So anyway, when you are done and you have all your text and everything ready to go here, just click on your file and save as the Adobe PDF would be a good choice, or you can just save it as a regular presentation, and that should upload just fine into the assignment on, on Cengage, at least <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, anyway, hopefully that will uh, reassure you somewhat. Uh, if you do have questions about anything, please uh, feel free to ask, uh, but mainly just, just have some fun with this, uh, get the relevant information up there, um, you know, make it persuasive, Get creative with your pictures and your text, and uh, that's about all I can think of to say about it. So, anyway, I'll leave off here. And again, if you do have questions, just let me know. Happy to answer them.